Uh, another misconception, crappie fishermen, this is kind of how we made our, our claim to fame in our crappie fishing world. We use large, large, large crappie baits. That is our standard size crappie bait for crappie fish. It has a three inch Bobby Harlan uh, slab slayer, pumpkin seed chartreuse. A lot of people look at that and they go, are you kidding me? That is for crappie fishing? Absolutely. Again, let's go back to our buddy here. All right? We're trying to catch these. This is not too big for crappie fishing. This is, this is how we start our crappie fishing. With this large lure. This, this is my favorite box right here. Everyone has a three inch lure. In. Uh, another thing that we do is we use this is a 3 16 ounce. Everybody, when you start crappie fishing, use 1 32nd ounce hair jigs and a little bitty 1 16th ounce or a plain minnow. This is 3 16 ounce heavy lead. So we uh, there's a day we go use 30, what, 30 second ounce air jig, that thing falls in the water, nice and slow, it falls down, crappie's looking at it going, oh yeah, uh, I'm not worried about that. I'm doing the complete opposite. I learned years ago, I used to fish BASS as an amateur, I learned a long time ago from Gary Clyde, bigger profile, like dropping as fast as it can in front of the pig, it's a eat. This thing's dropping in a lot faster than 30 second ounce, it's going right by his face, and eat. So it's a different, different mindset from that nice, slow, falling drop. They're not biting this thing, 30 seconds out, one, three sixteenths out, drop it past his face, it's over. It's a different mindset. Um, and people are just aren't used to using this start to bait. This is all we do. You can feel so much better with this 3 16th. You have a lot more feel than a 30 second out or a 16th. We don't even own 16th ounce gear. We don't own it. We don't use it. I won't. Eight pounds, all the way to a half pound for crappie fish. So, so that, that is that is so big. Again, no, it's not. That crappie can fit seven of these at the same time if you want. So, misconception: got to use little bitty micro lures and baits. That's absolutely not what you do. Use bigger baits. Again, not everybody's going to go do this. We're terminators. When I go on the water, all I'm trying to do is catch seven of those. I'm not trying to catch 70, I'm trying to catch 17, I'm trying to catch the biggest crop in the world. So, you can take this tip and you're day fishing, and you're out there, and you're, they're biting, you're catching 10, 11, cropping, these cropping, you want to catch 14. Try these bigger baits, bigger cropping will hit these things. And that's why the bass guys from 12 inch worms, these hay rigs, and these big old stick baits, because they catch big bass. That same thing with big lures for crop. Crop fishing, you just don't, they don't think about it. You gotta have a gold hook and minnow, 30 second ounce hair jigs, they will get these things. We've been doing it for 20 years. So one misconception. Um, so that's our lure. We, we we don't we start with the big lure, a little downsize as we go if need be, but we always start big and use the big lure. We talk about the bass. Um, Something cool about this lead head by Bobby Darling, I'm sponsored by Bobby Darling, they're the folks that brought me here. Uh, I couldn't find a mental company to sponsor me, so that's why I'm talking about Bobby Garland today, so that's why I'm here. They actually brought me here to talk to you, to you people. Bobby Garland is uh, owned by the same company, G. Maru, that's been around forever in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And they're the they're innovators in the crop world. They're actually giving us new products, bringing us new colors every year. They bring in the pros, they say, what colors do you need? What so they're, they're, they're on the top of the food chain as far as crappie and stuff goes. If you haven't heard of Bobby Garland, please come see me and walk through. Hopefully if you guys crop your fish, you've heard of Bobby Garland. So that's why I'm here. So I use exclusively, this is all I use is Bobby Garland lures. Uh, and they have a wide variety of lures. We'll go through that right now and talk about the different lures they have and what we use. Uh, the lead head is a Bobby Garland Mobo head. And what's so cool about this lead head, it actually blows the bar. Stick it in your hand, look in there, put it off a cube, put it off a blow. We have some of those, we're not completely sold out of them yet. Um, and the hooks on these things are, they're unreal. They're, I mean, they're, hooks have come a long ways in the last 10 years. This is, you know, when we started 20 years ago, all we have is gold hooks and we bend out. This is the you know, circuitly sharpened, just like the drill card. This thing is so freaking sharp, it's unreal. It looks a couple more ways, sturdy, doesn't bend. Um, so, we get these on the no-blow heads by Bobby Garland. 
My favorite color lead head in the world is chartreuse. Um, something we do that a lot of competition don't do, we do, we don't even think about it anymore, is that always, always, always use a different color lead head to the body. Color. This is an orange with chartreuse, which is an outstanding coffee color, by the way, it's a great coffee color. I would never want to put that on this orange head. Doesn't do me any good. You can't. We're gonna catch the property that way. It's going to pour, but it doesn't do me any good. So what we always do is we try to switch it up. What that does is the lakes that we have around here are not that crystal clear. If you guys ever been fishing, a little dingy. Dingy means it's frozen. Here to two foot. That's not very clear. Well, we don't have crystal clear water like Table Rock and some of these lakes are crystal clear. So you want, these crappie have got to find that lure. So by putting that different color hue on there, you're giving it two different options to choose from. The orange and the brown. There's two different options to choose from. They have to be able to see it to hit it. Here's another, another description of that. This is a brand new color by Michael's lights out. Black, bright, bright short trees. That is one of my absolute favorites, by the way. Bright, bright tail. I like bright lures. Fishing in your water here a little bit, you got to be able to see it, so it's a bright color. So I would team that up with something, would not want to use a black kid on that. This one's actually green. Something a little different. We never ever ever fish a lead head that isn't pink. We always fish a pink lead It's just a different color for them. So, you know, is there days that crappie, the, the, the color matters? Well, absolutely not. When they're on fire, you can throw up. Cigarette butt and a black jelly bean out there to catch you. The other days, when colors are absolutely that's just going out and figuring out what they want. For. So, man, I'm not, I'm not getting used to the role more. I'm not going to guarantee any of this is going to work. This is what we do, and it helps us in our fishing. So, um, as we go through here, some of this stuff works for me. You guys try it before it works for you. So, um, another cool bait that uh, Bobby Brother has. This is a slab dock. Is the name of this one. The name of that and the color of this is called Monkey Mo. Pretty cool name. It's kind of a clear, it goes off the road. It has a little cup of kicker that plays off of again. So that's another big profile lure uh, that I like to use. Something that's very, very cool about it. this bag it has a little uh, spot underneath his belly here. Bobby Garland. I think they may have these. These are crappie rabbits. Came out these last year. The last guys that had the rattles forever and ever and ever, and the worm, the stick in the body the worm. It's actually a crappie rattle. It's a, it's a, it's a glass bean with rattles in it. What it does is it slides right up in the uh, belly of this bait. Just insert in there. So you can uh, give a little bit more noise and vibration. It just sits in there and rattles. You've got a microphone here. And that thing just sits in the belt and sit next to that tree stuff, next to that bridge pier, in your brush pile, shake that lure, and off the boys. Cool. I guarantee this catch is fit. Heavens no, but it sure doesn't hurt. And that's what it's for you guys to do, right? We try to find that man. We try to find something that Joe isn't using so I can beat him on the fish. So this rattle, something pretty cool, different. Uh, we've had days where it absolutely worked, the other day it didn't. That they're hiding by it, right? So something pretty cool that, that's out from my boy. Yeah, it's a slab doctor. The number one selling crappie bait in the whole United States of America is the baby shad by Bobby Brown from coast to coast. It's just a shad shaped bait, a little bit smaller profile because most fishermen aren't used to throwing big mongrel baits like this. So this is the number one lure in the United States. It's the Bobby Brown baby shad. There's a ton of them. some more of these every year than anything from Bobby Brown and any other crappie bait. Uh, outstanding because just looks like a shad. You can hardly get back to the tail still. So this is the number one seller. I don't use a lot of it because I'm trying to catch seven of those. So I'll start out big. If the day's really warm and not doing really good, I'll switch over to this thing. So uh, somebody asked me last night, I'm talking about this, about ever use white bait. I absolutely use white bait. But I never, ever fish it by itself. What does that mean? If I use minnows, I hate buying minnows because I can't find a minnow sponsor, right? I don't pay for my targets. But I will use minnows because minnows have got more crappie than anything in the world. Just go down. Minnows work, absolutely work. 
I never fishing by myself. Everybody used to a roll hook, split shot, bottle, catch the million crop in here. If I use minnows, I tip this jig. I still use this color. Again, I want this color because our legs are dingy. Come on up, all these legs are dingy. They're not clear water. They're not fishing clear water. So this color helps them crop the sea a little bit. You gotta see it before they get it. So if I'm using my bait, I tip these jigs with the What's that mean is I take that line bait, that minnow, I come right up to his mouth, to his nose, I stick him right on that hook. It also gives me even a bigger hook. They eat all the water. So I do like do use life bait. Just don't talk about it because they don't pay me enough. So it's just like that. But I do use life bait absolutely. Half the time that's all they want. I never feed it by itself. I always have this color. I think this color is huge problem. So, uh, that's a lot of things. Um, new from Bobby Garland. Um, had the baby shad that's been out since Bobby Garland's been around for 15 years. They have a brand new baby shad. It's called a swim arm. It has a uh, pretty cool design. Um, it has a segmented tail, kind of like a swimmer. The tail can't hold still. It also has a little spot in its belly down here, a little chamfer spot. What, what they created this for is that they had to come out with some brand new scent. This is called uh, Bobby Garland No Go Slap Jam. Pretty cool, man. That's a color for that. Some of these color names. Slap Jam. What this stuff does, um, it's a scent. It's like in my like 20 years, I've used every single scent that's ever been made. Garlic and all this stuff. And, and I use it because of the fishermen who want to make This stuff right here, it's absolutely amazing because it lasts a lot longer than any set of ever used. What this, what this little chamfer in this belly is for is, is to fill that thing up. You know, this fill is the chamfer up in that belly and it kind of grabs it and holds it. And this stuff lasts a lot longer than a cropping nettle, a lot longer than any set of ever used. This stuff lasts. Again, I'm not rolling more. I'm not going to guarantee you this is the helicopter lure that's going to catch fish. But it smells. Absolutely disgusting, so it's gotta be awesome. <laughs> it's gotta be awesome, right?